Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a confidence interval for a for both a variance and a standard deviation. So let me read the problem to you, and then you can try on your own. A study of generation-related carbon monoxide deaths showed that a sample of seven recent years had a standard deviation of 4.2 deaths per year. Find the 99% confidence interval of the variance and standard deviation. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. So pause the video and try to do this one on your own. Okay, so let's look at the formula. The formula for both the standard deviation and the variance are relatively the same. So it's n minus 1 parentheses s squared over chi squared right less than the variance less than n minus 1 s squared over chi squared left. So let's first find the chi squared right and then chi squared left. So how do you find that? Well, the chi squared looks like this. And since doing a confidence interval, you have 99% in between. So you have to find this value and then this value. This is chi squared right, and then this is chi squared left because it's named after the sign that's on in the chi-squared distribution. However, when you look at your table in the back, normally you have, this is the area that you need, and then you have that stuff. So let's first find this area. This area is gonna look just like the table, this is this area plus this area equals 1%. Half of 1% would be 0 0.005. So look that up in your table. The degrees of freedom would be n minus 1. So your sample size is 7. So it would be 7 minus 1, which is 6 and then look at top, which is 0 0.005. Well, 0 0.05 and 6, I get 18.548. Might be a little hard to see on the table, but on top you have the area to the right of it, and then on the side you have your degrees of freedom. So where 7 and 0 0.005 line up, that's my chi-squared right. My chi-squared left is going to be this plus this. So what I have to look up in my table is from here to here, which would be 0 0.995. So I look up 0 0.995 with the degrees of freedom of 6 and 0 0.676. 0 0.676. And now I just plug everything in. So n is 7, so that's 7 minus 1. My s is 4.2, so that's 4.2 squared. And then over here, it's going to be 7 minus 1 
squared, 4.2 squared. And this is going to be for variance. So plug it into your calculator. Turning it on is always nice. Always good to turn on first before you start doing your calculation. So 7 minus 1, parentheses, and then 4.2 squared. And then first it's divided by this 18.548. So I'm going to do uh, one more decimal place than what they give me here. So it's 5.71. Actually, let me do an extra one because this is for the variance. Uh, 0.6 and then I have the other one now all you need to do is delete what I pushed was second and then entry and that just repeats the last line and then for my denominator, it's 0 0.676, which gives me 156 points five, six, eight. So that's my confidence interval for my variance. For my standard deviation, all I have to do is square root everything. So it would be the square root of 5.706 and then the square root of 156.568. And so let me plug those into my calculator. So square roots of 5.706 that gives me 2.39 and then for this it would be 150 square root of 156.568 which gives me 12.51 And that's it. So you basically state it, I'm 99% confidence, uh, dot, 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 that the standard deviation or the variance or a standard deviation of debts per year is between such and such and such and such or such and such and such and such and that's it